Okay, we're going to start here. On May 21st, I called the pathologist, Clifford Nielsen's office, and requested some documentation and Autumn's crematorium. Autumn's crematorium was going to give me a call back. And, uh, and they never did. I got back in touch with the pathologist, and they sent me a document. I did complain it, complete it. I uh, called Autumn's, and they denied having the conversation. And as you know, I record everything.
Okay, I received a call. Well, I called yesterday and left a message. And and they, the lady said that she had pulled the file. She said, I have it. She put me on hold. I have the file. What is it you need to know? I said, I understand that my uncle, Kenny Spencer, transported her there. And my name is Spencer on the death certificate. But I need, I'm, I'm looking for the path, the time frame from the pathologist. The time frame from the pathologist to the um, crematorium and the trail of this death certificate because I'm learning that as well. And she said, um, this was yesterday. She said, well, let me talk to the funeral director because I have to find out and talk to our attorney and find out what we can release to you. I said, okay, fine. A couple hours later, I called back. And then she gets smart with me. Ma'am, stop yelling at me. I speak stern. You know? I don't pussyfoot. And I said, ma'am, I am not yelling at you. I am she, Well, it's been 21 years. Well, you have an archive. And the lady said she found it already. She was going to find out what was needed. And she mentioned that I signed something. She said, well, I have the document here with your signature on it. Authorizing the release from the pathologist to us to cremate her. Well, I never signed anything, I told her. I said, so we can stop right there. Just give me a copy of the document with my signature on it. Okay, let me check on my, with the funeral director. And she calls me back. And she said, I can't release that information to you. And I said, well, you can't. You told me that I signed something. You can't. Give me or show me a copy of my signature. I said, so I'll just come in. Well, if you come in, I'm not going to show you anything either that way. Okay? Voice, I knew it was somebody else. I said, well, I want to speak to the funeral director. I'll have him call you back. This morning, I call. No, no, hold on. I called again right before they're closed at 446. And a man answered. I gave him the spiel. He said... I can't find it. I said, well, she said it's archived, and she's already pulled it. Well, let me check again. Nope, I can't find anything. I said, well, she had the file in her hand. Well, I'm not sure who you talked to. I said, well, you know, I record my conversations. Unfortunately, I, would, I didn't record that one. I get tired of recording when it's bullshit, straight bullshit. One contact recording is good for me. And so I just said, okay. He said he was going to have somebody call me back today. So I went ahead and emailed him. Well, no. Sent to the phone number because they get text messages. That means they'll get a photo. Photos of that baby's mouth. They're not supposed to take pictures of a baby when they're dead. And now they really don't want to talk. So I called today. That woman told me if I call again, she was going to call the police. I said, well, ma'am, you're just going to have to do that because I'm going to call from every number that I can until I get a response. So you go ahead and call the ones that if they had done their job, we wouldn't even be talking right now. So I call, I call, hang up. 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 I call, I'm going to call the police. I call, I call, hang up. I call. So now wait. I'm going to give them enough time that eventually she's going to not want to answer it and just hang it up. Pick it up, bam, 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 bam. She'll just like go to the answer machine. So I call, and the, the voice sounded like an answer machine. It was Leslie Allen kind of country. She just said, "Well, after I thought I was leaving a long message, then she said something." I and I went through the whole spiel. My baby died on such and such a day. I know it's been 21 years. It's archived. I didn't even mention that the woman that pulled it up yesterday because we're starting fresh. You know what I'm saying? Whoever gets that message, I start every conversation the same way till they say something ignorant to me. Like, why, what are you trying to do? What, what are you, what, what, uh, uh, if you want to know how she died, and then I'm going to hang up, and I'm not going to even bother to answer the phone again, and I'm just going to call the police. Well, fuck you, call the police. Well, I didn't say fuck you, but I really, 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 really wanted to. So, she said, she can't hang it up. But anyway, I left a, a good long message, and I didn't mention who I spoke with yesterday, and I said I'll make 21st. I was told I was going to um, get a call back from the funeral director. And when I called yesterday, um, I just want some answers. They said that there's a signature in that file for me, and we can stop right there. You don't even have to show me the signature. 
Is it Spencer or Springer on it? That's all I want to know. Does it say Jamila Spencer or Jamila Springer? That's all I want to know. I'm looking for discrepancies there from when my uncle took to took him over there. They they just involved themselves in something deeper. I wasn't trying to get them caught up in anything. I called Autumn Crematorium. I called them and set it up. So when I called today, they tell me that they can't get um, they can only get the information to the person who who set it up and authorized it. That right there is saying they know it wasn't me. They can't give me information because they hanging up, but the message I left today, then I was about three minute message and then, then eventually voice said, can you repeat your name again? You must have been the damn motherfucking police. If you couldn't do your job the first time around, I'd be damn if I'm going to let a motherfucker with just a GED do a damn thing for me.